Hey guys, it's uh, me, Waste, and Johnny Ty. I just want to take a couple minutes of your time today to talk about my new knife by Topps Knives, the Kumatakri. I know I have a couple videos out there online and uh, demonstrating how to use the Takri and how to swing them and how they can be used for self defense. But uh, in the video, I also talked about us coming out with a uh, training version, an aluminum trainer. The video is not filmed yet, but uh, I'm excited to announce that we got the aluminum trainers in today. And uh, so I came right from our office, our Kumaram office in Tinley Park, and I wanted to share them with you. Now, just to recap, because I haven't done a tabletop video review of this knife, this is the Kumatakri. It's made by Topps Knives. It is a 1095 high carbon steel with a black linen micarta. It's about 13 inches from tip to tip, roughly. And I put a very thin strip of black linen micarta on the handle because I wanted to maintain a very light weight on this knife. It's a high carbon steel. Uh, it's heat treated, so it's a hardened steel, so it's got a little pry in the end. A lot of guys like to use big knives uh, for pry bars and, you know, they screw up their blades. So I didn't want that to uh, be a temptation. What makes this knife different than all other uh, cookeries out there, or tactical cookeries, because there's a couple out there. It's got almost a three inch blade from tip to tip, but it's got an upper edge, a lower edge, and a serrated edge. So it's really good for trapping. Another thing I did was, as you see where the thumb goes, my index finger right by the finger guard, it, it's got a swing here, so it was done by design so you can see, right? So when you're chopping, you can get that weight forward by that design right there. Okay, that was done intentionally. So when I'm swinging, bang, okay? Now, well, it's already in my hand, so here's the aluminum version of it, okay? You see we have an engraved, oh, let's see if I can get a good view of that. Kumatakri, Waste and Johnny Tai, okay? Um, it's a type of plastic that we used. It even has a little bit of grip. I don't know if you could see that on there. We put the screws so they're uh, protruding a little bit on these handles to give you an extra grip. It's a full size. It's really nice. We even put the lanyard hole in there for you. Okay. We did it in law enforcement blue. So it's clearly a trainer and it's one of the, uh, not to be uh, egotistical, but it's I think it's one of the nicer trainers out there. Okay. I mean, we tried to make it as close to the uh, actual knife as possible. And the true tackery is only like one eighth of an inch thick, so it's very light, very fast. And the aluminum version is a little bit thicker. You can see that, okay? So what happens is it kind of balances out with the steel being from being aluminum. So it gives you a true feel of the knife. A very cool thing that I wanted to show you, uh, well I can't show you the image yet, but I will very soon, is that this particular knife was chosen by a G.I. Joe artist, the comic book G.I. Joe. Uh, everyone knows who Snake Eyes is. Snake Eyes is the uh, probably the most iconic ninja in all of comic book world, or if not the entire world, right? Everyone knows who J.I. Joe is and Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow. And Robert Atkins is the artist for the new Snake Eyes series, which comes out by IDW Publishing. The first issue comes out uh, May 25th this month, and issue two comes out June 25th. And uh, I'll tell you, Snake Eyes is chopping up a bunch of cobras with this particular blade. And it's a real knife, and the coolest ninja on the planet is gonna be using it as his exclusive knife for the entire series. 
So that's something I'm pretty proud of because like most people uh, around my age or that between 30 and 40 grew up with G.I. Joe, okay? And uh, so it's kind of an honor to have this blade out there. So for young people, you know, like my son, who's 10, he gets this version of the Snake Eyes knife. And for those of us who like uh, real useful knives, they get this version. And for those of us who want to actually train and become effective with the Kuma Takari, get both, okay? Again, my name is Wason Johnny Tai. I just wanted to share these with you. Again, I'm excited, they just came in today. The Kuma Takari itself is gonna debut at Blade Show, okay? We're gonna have them available at Blade at the Topps Knives booth at Blade Show in June of 2011. This year is when you can actually purchase the Kuma Takari, and I am hoping to have the DVDs done by then. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoy your day, it's warming up. Again, my name is Wason Johnny Tai. Stay safe out there.